Drug overdose deaths from heroin and pain pills are hitting an all-time high in Georgia. So can a medical implant cure addiction by eliminating cravings? Channel 2's Tom Regan is here looking at why this unusual treatment offers some hope, but it's also stirring some controversy, Tom. Javita, this medication has been proven successful at breaking addictions to drugs, alcohol, gambling, even sex addictions. And for one local man, he says it was a miracle cure. I remember being awfully worried about it, going to sleep at night, wondering whether or not I was going to wake up. Bradley Gorham, a husband, father, and successful businessman, describes his downward spiral as a pain pill addict. Oxycodone, hydrocodone, whatever he could get his hands on. How much are you spending a month on? A month was about nine to ten grand. Yeah. In pain pills? Yes. You bought off the street? Right. He told me his pill habit got so expensive that he was one step away from switching to heroin, a much cheaper high. I would have lost my house. My wife and I would have gotten divorced if I would have kept going down that route. After failed attempts to get sober, he was at the end of his rope. Then he heard of a medication-assisted program using naltrexone. It's a drug to treat opioid and alcohol addiction. But instead of taking it as a pill or an injection, Gorham chose to have it implanted in his abdomen. And it releases the drug over several months. That way, the person doesn't have to think about taking the medication every day in the oral form or every three to four weeks in the injectable forms. The head of a company that developed a treatment program using the implant says it works by blocking pleasure centers in the brain that trigger the euphoria from pain pills and heroin. They try to ingest pills or shoot heroin while they have an effective amount of medication themselves. What it'll do is it'll block the effects of that heroin or that opioid and they just won't get high. Bradley, who had been popping a dozen pills a day, says his compulsion vanished like the flip of a switch. Where you don't have a, a craving to, to get high, basically. It completely eliminates that craving. Yes. He says it also curbed his cravings for other addictive behaviors, like gambling. Normally, I love to gamble. I got bored with it real quick. After 30 minutes of sitting at a table or a slot machine, I'd rather go upstairs and watch a movie. A drug treatment specialist who prescribes the injection form of naltrexone says it can totally transform an addict's perception of illegal drugs. Now thinking about heroin turns into thinking about broccoli. If you think broccoli, it doesn't do anything to your brain. It doesn't feel good to your brain, so you don't keep thinking about it. Now, Trexone implants have not been approved by the FDA and thus may not be covered by most health insurance. BioCorex expects that to happen soon and says the drug counseling component of its program is as important as the implant. I mean, they have to have developed some kind of tools to move their life forward by the time that implant or the oral or the injectable, whatever they're on, wears off. Bradley says the implant was a lifeline. As many pills as I was taking, I could have overdosed at any moment. So yes, this, this truly saved my life. Now this implant can have potential side effects including uh, nausea and insomnia and uh, also other problems. So anyone considering you taking this implant should definitely check with their doctor and be aware of these risks and others before they get the implant. And Tom, what, I mean, it's so promising for so many people, what about cost? <laughs> It isn't cheap. It's like $15,000. But that also includes all the intensive counseling programs, drug treatment programs that go along for that, mm -hmm. with that. But uh, I checked, and it's still less than what you'd pay for for a residential treatment program. All right. Sounds promising. Yeah. Thank you.